Hey, what do you think Mitch McConnell's next move are? And I'm going to ask Henry, what do you think John Boehner's next move is? You want to jump in? Well, yeah. I, think, I think Mitch is probably still going to be under pressure from a lot of his far right, the presidential candidates in particular, to schedule at least one more repeal vote. Uh, they're going to want to make yet another statement, not because they think it's good politically uh, in November of 2016, but it's good politically for their base. They want to keep their base energized, and they use this legislation as the way to do that. In the longer term, I don't, I don't think that's going to work. And if I were McConnell, I would work on those things that actually might bring Democrats and Republicans together. We saw it already with the sustainable growth rate, brought a huge vote together. We saw it with the extension of the community health centers. We saw it uh, in the House with... Uh, uh, with 21st century cures. So there, there these are, are all elements. Recent things, that, all yeah. recent things. All recent things. And I think what the American people really want to see is Congress working together. And they're not going to work together right now on the ACA, but there are a lot of parts. There's a lot of bipartisan agreement on payment reform and the need to move away from fee for service. Right. There's a lot of agreement on transparency, the need for greater transparency than what we have today. I think there's a lot of interest in, uh, in changing the way we deliver care. And, and you both generally agree on that, right? You and Bill? And so no, we no. don't agree. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just wanted to no. kick the yeah, tires. Yeah. No, I, I think, the, and I'll be quiet, but there's a lot of optimism. What Tom just said, the, the SGR, which you tried to fix as leader, I, did. I tried to fix as leader, we couldn't do it, and we had people working together. And now you have this hot partisan bimodal Congress and they came out and fixed two months ago in a bipartisan way, huge health care bill, which is a little element of optimism in Congress. And you mentioned faster cures and, and others as well. Yeah, Thanks. with a stop to payment reform as well. I mean, yeah. in that bill. Yeah. It's, so I, my point, I guess, is that once you get beyond this, this emotional debate about ACA or yeah. Obamacare, it's amazing how many things out there might have the potential for some reasonable dialogue and some consensus. Henry? Your question to me was what John Boehner would do. <laughs> uh, well, we voted over 50 times in the House of Representatives to repeal the law. Mm. So I guess they could vote another time to repeal the law. And Nancy and Ann and I were talking about whether the Senate ever had such a vote. Maybe uh, McConnell will put that to a vote and everybody can then say, I voted to repeal the law, I have no responsibility for it. Then we all move on. Now, the Republicans dodged a bullet yesterday because they, in those red states, they would have had to figure out what to do with the middle class who now had health insurance. The opinion polls showed that most Americans did not want the court to, throw, to go the other way. In the past, Obamacare is an abstraction. Many seniors came up to me and said, I don't want uh, Obamacare. I don't want government health care. I want my Medicare. Leave it alone. <laughs> it was all an abstraction. But yesterday's decision, had it gone the other way, would no longer have been an abstraction. People, through no fault of their own, who finally had insurance, would no longer have that insurance. So the Republicans uh, can express their opposition, and we can move on to areas where we could get bipartisan support. And I am encouraged that the that Congress is now moving in a more bipartisan way in the health arena. And I do not think it's because I left. <laughs> <laughs>